Jeff. Welcome back to the shop. So we have a lot of fun here, and one of the things that I don't always go over is safety. Now, safety is important in any shop, so I'd like to cover some tips to help you be more safe in yours. Now here on the milling machine, these cutters are incredibly sharp, these end mills. They cut on the bottom and the sides, so they're fully sharpened. And not only will they cut you, but they can also grab something and swing it around at high speed. So it's important to keep everything out of the way of the work area. Now if you're like me and you have littler helpers come into your shop every so often, you want to be sure of these lower tables and make sure that things that are sharp or things that could be a choking hazard are put away. Now for those of us who welded our shop, one of the biggest safety concerns is making sure exactly what kind of metal you may or may not be welding. Sometimes they can have bad coatings or other sort of surface preparations that can cause real issues, so at the very least use proper ventilation when you're welding. Now, on the metal lathe, one of the more dangerous things about it is actually not the lathe, but the chuck key. You never want to accidentally leave the chuck key still in the chuck. In fact, I make it a personal rule never to take my hand off the chuck key until I've placed it solidly on the bench. If you leave the chuck key in the chuck, when it's turned on, it'll fling across the room and hit you or somebody else at speeds that are close to bullets. It can be a real literal headache. Now if you're like me and you reload your own ammunition, it's really important to pay attention throughout the entire process. You don't want to skip a step. If you skip a step, you can actually make it more dangerous because the components may not be there to properly launch the bullet in a safe trajectory out of the barrel. What you can end up doing is making a very dangerous situation and you don't want to be a part of that, so pay attention to what you're doing at all times. Another thing that people in small shops don't really consider is the noise, and especially if you have cement walls or floors, power tool noise can reverberate and be even louder and more dangerous. So I always wear a pair of EarPro, and now I can be properly safe. Anytime I go to use a caustic chemical such as this, I find it's a really good idea to put on some gloves. These are nitrile, and I get a box of them for about $10 at Sam's Club. It's really handy in the shop to protect your skin. Got to keep those hands safe. Machined parts coming right off the lathe can have really sharp burrs around their edges. The best way to take care of these is with a file, but you want to make sure that it doesn't have this bare edge exposed. Always make sure that your file has a handle before you use it on the lathe. And remember, it's also really dangerous to grab chips with your bare hands, so I use a pair of needle nose pliers. It's a lot more safe. Proper ventilation is a good note for soldering as well. This stuff has lead in it, and you really don't want to be inhaling any of that. When you're using an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel in it, it's really important to wear a full face shield. These things can break apart and send pieces flying everywhere, so you really want a lot of protection. And lastly, before you ever leave your shop, remember, keep those tools unplugged. I'd like to thank you for coming along on this discussion of safety tips that maybe you can use in your shop. Remember, the number one rule of safety is that if you see something in a video that looks unsafe on the internet, leave a derisive comment on it.